so adding another rbm stack over this rbm for this we will first of all we will freeze this now the next step will be the addition of next rbm will be just addition of another hidden layer over this stack so this is the addition of another hidden layer and this will create rbm our second rbm like this here the hidden units of hidden layer will be the input units for the second rbm and we will calculate these weights by taking the transpose of these weights this is the updated weight of w1 that we already calculated and this is the transpose weight of w2 that is uh, you can see here w11 goes here w21 goes here and like that means we converted all columns into rows and we use the updated weights of hidden units that is uh, conditional probability of h11 is equal to 1 given b and conditional probability of h12 is equal to 1 given b as the input weight for the new or second rbm now we will again use the contrastive divergence based method based method as discussed earlier as we discussed here to train this second rbm so how to do this so first of all we apply a positive phase to update the weights of hidden layer for this here the first hidden layer is h11 h12 this will be the input layer for second rbm so now update the weight of h21 first unit of the hidden layer of second rbm by cal for this we calculate the conditional probability of p h21 is equal to 1 given h1 by using sigmoid of this equation where b21 is the bias attached with h21 that is properly h21 so now it can be as it is connected with uh, this hidden unit and this input in this unit so we can explain it uh, like that but as per the condition given here this units may not be related to this unit so this part of the equation will be equal to zero so after that we calculate the rest part and this is equal to 0 0.6429 Similarly, we can update the weight of H22 by calculating the conditional probability of H22 is equal to 1 given H1 by using sigmoid of this expression which is equal to where B22 is the bias attached with uh, H22 and uh, 
it is already given 0 0.2 w21 you can see here w21 is 0 0.3221 and h11 is already given 0 0.7312 and uh, as per the conditions given here h22 is equal to 1 this part will be equal to 0 as this hidden layer represents the indoor game we are considering those samples as a outdoor game and this will be the sigmoid of this value means uh, we have to calculate like this next uh, we can update the weight of uh, H23 by using the same process here this part is 0 this is because in earlier example we have taken these four edge samples for different different features in games and this is a hidden unit and this hidden unit represents the outdoor game and this hidden unit represents the indoor game and this represents the chase and these two are outdoor games so for this hidden units the outcome will not satisfy this condition and so from this we will not take any input or we'll take zero input Similarly, at a negative phase, we will update the weights of uh, hidden units back. So, this is our H21. So, now we will update the weight of H11 and H12. For this we calculate the conditional probability of H11 is equal to 1 given H2 by using sigmoid of this connection. But uh, as we already know that uh, the condition H11 is equal to 1 will not satisfied by the inputs from this node or this in hidden unit so we will consider this part as a 0 and here a11 is the bias attached sorry here a11 is the bias attached with hidden unit h11 which is equal to b11 b1 and which is equal to 0 0.2 so we consider it as a 0 0.2 that uh, we already taken here in at the starting stage so we are not changing any of the bias we consider all the bias of upper layers same as the bias of previous seed hidden layer is equal to 0 0.5331 similarly h21 is calculated here which is 0 0.6429 so here we used 0 0.6429 and then we calculate this expression and take a sigmoid of this expression which will be equal to this similarly we can update the weight of h12 update the states of h12 by calculating the conditional probability of H12 is equal to 1 given H2 by using this expression here A12 is the bias attached to H12 which is equal to same as biased uh, we have taken earlier which is equal to 0 0.2 we have taken all bias is equal to 0 0.2 and W21 is the weight and uh, w21 is 0 0.3221 w21 is the weight here w22 is the weight here and w23 is the weight here as uh, this represents the indoor game so all the inputs from h21 or h22 
will be equal to 0 as it will not satisfy the condition like p h12 is equal to 1 given h2 so these two weights will be equal to 0 and we will cal consider only bias which is 0 0.2 and w323 which is uh, equal to 0 0.1132 and H23 which is equal to 0 0.5647 so after calculation this expression will be equal to sigmoid of 0 0.2639 and after calculation this will be the final score so based on the scores as discussed earlier we will update the weight of here we will update this weight by using this formula so updated weight of W11 in this case it will be equal to original weight of old weight of w11 which was 5331 you can see in this table w11 is 5331 so we'll use this weight and l is the learning rate which is equal to 0 0.5 and h21 probability of h21 given h1 is uh, already calculated and it is uh, equal to 0 0.6429 and probability of H11 given H2 is already calculated here which is equal to 0 0.7126 so after calculation we will get the updated weight of W11 as this similarly we can update all such weights here and we will repeat it uh, several times and after some iterations when we get some threshold accuracy we can stop here so this is our updated weight of uh, for matrix w2 after several iterations now we will freeze this weight also and now we are eligible to add another stack of rbm over this so here we added another stack of RBM which is uh, just uh, it contains two layers and represents the class we can stop here and uh, treat the complete uh, RBM machine as a for our classification process here the hidden units of second stack of RBM is uh, treated as the input for third RBM stack and the rest of the process is same we have taken we used same process to take the transpose of the weight matrix in earlier case to initialize the weight we will use the all the updates of uh, H21 H22 and H23 to feed the new RBM as an input. So now let us re revise the entire training example, entire training algorithm. So this is the summary of steps used in the recursive greedy training procedure for deep belief network. So first step was to feed the parameter of W1 of the first layer of RBM to the data as we did earlier here, as we did here to initialize the our first RBM after that the next stage is freeze the parameters of W1 and use the samples H1 from PH1 given V as the data for training the next layer of the binary features with RBM similarly at the next stage here we repeat the same process and freeze the parameter, ve parameter vector w2 that defines the second layer of the features and use the sample h2 from conditional probability of h2 given h1 as a data for training 
to the third layer of binary features and we repeat recursively for the next layers. Now we can update the data by using another records like P2 and P3. After that, after the completion of the training, we apply a simple fine tuning process. So our fine tuning process contains three steps. In the fine tuning of the system, we do a stochastic bottom up pass and adjust the top down weights. Do a few iterations of sampling in the top down level of RBM and adjust the weight of top level of RBM. After that, just return back and through a stochastic top down pass and adjust the bottom of weights. So we can understand this process by using this simple figure. So first of all, we take a training data set which is not used, which is not used and apply a bottom up pass and in that pass we can update the weights these weights till the ever wind and after that when we reach at this level our last stack of rbm we apply some recursion and again updates those weights We consider this at output uh, layer and update these weights and then return back to these uh, to the visible units and uh, again updates those weights. This weight, up, weight updation is just a fine tuning process to readjust these weights. Actually the entire training of deep belief network is just a calculation of auto or uh, calculation of optimal weight of these connections so that when we need to classify a data suppose a given a data in the form of 0 1 0 we need to classify whether it is related to indoor game or outdoor game so we will just pass it through here and we apply some all weight calculation here, weight calculation here, then again we will calculate the weight here and weight here. All these weight updation here is just a stochastic weight updation process and uh, calculated by any of the, for example, like a positive phase or negative phase. So we can use this positive phase for formula to calculate the weight at each stage of the passing. So when the data reach here, it will have this input record will have some value. Suppose it shows higher value for 0 0.7 for this hidden score and uh, 0 0.3 uh, here. Then uh, it may be represented as it uh, belongs to the class uh, out outdoor game. So this is the process to test the finally test the deep belief network related data. Uh, this is the process uh, to classify the data using deep belief network. For further reading you can uh, consider these uh, papers.